Help me then in every tribulation so to trust thy promises, O Lord. This is Cindy Sekiguchi, A Cup of Devotion, Hymns and Scriptures for Troubled Times, Today's Hymn, Day by Day. The Scripture, Isaiah 26.3 You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Let's take a closer look. Isaiah 26 depicts a strong city, a righteous nation whose inhabitants keep the truth of God. Salvation forms the walls and bulwarks, or strong defenses, of the city. Praise constitutes the gates. Entrance to the city is granted to the one whose mind is stayed on the Lord, who dwells in the city. Those who dwell in the city know perfect peace of mind, even in times of great calamity and tribulation. What does trust in the Lord look like? George Mueller, director of the Mueller Homes Orphanage in England, knew what it was to trust God. And here's a story from Christianity.com. Quote, The children are dressed and ready for school, but there is no food for them to eat. The house mother of the orphanage informed George Mueller. George asked her to take the 300 children into the dining room and have them sit at the tables. He thanked God for the food and waited. George knew God would provide food for the children as he always did. Within minutes, a baker knocked on the door. Mr. Mueller, he said, last night I could not sleep. Somehow I knew that you would need bread this morning. I got up and baked three batches for you. I will bring it in. Soon there was another knock on the door. It was the milkman. His cart had broken down in front of the orphanage. The milk would spoil by the time the wheel was fixed. He asked George if he could use some free milk. George smiled as the milkman brought in ten large cans of milk. It was just enough for the 300 thirsty children. We have all encountered many and varied problems in our lives. If we place our trust in the Lord, we will find that He intervenes and He protects. Our faith strengthens and our hope increases. When we see His hand in past storms, we can trust Him to see us through the storm on the horizon today. Let us build upon the rock and let our faith respond to the faithfulness of Him that has promised. The beginning of anxiety is the end of faith, and the beginning of true faith is the end of anxiety. And that was a quote by George Mueller. What storms are you facing today? Why not follow George Mueller's example and pray to your Heavenly Father, asking Him for a mind stayed on Him, that you, too, would have the perfect peace of God, that you, too, might gain entrance into that holy city. Join the hymnist's prayer, asking God to help me then in every tribulation, so to trust thy promises, O Lord.